Okay, hello everyone. Today we are up early. We are going to make um, another uh, slow cooker recipe. This time it is Italian beef sandwiches. And what I have here is about a four pound uh, chuck roast. This is a bone in chuck roast. Uh, the recipe didn't really call for that, but this is all um, uh, the supermarket had out at the time, something of this size. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut this up into uh, smaller chunks, about five or six smaller chunks. And I'm not even going to brown it. I'm going to throw, season it up and throw it right in the slow cooker. Um, today we're using the uh, five uh, hour slow cooker. And the reason we're up so early is, this is uh, the five quart I meant. The reason we're up so early is because it's going to take uh, eight to nine hours on low. So we're going to get this going early in the morning. So let's go over the ingredients real quick. Of course, we've got the chuck roast. We're going to have some onions. And we're going to have some uh, jar of pepperoncinis and their juices. Okay. Uh, for the spices, we're going to have about a, a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, a teaspoon and a half of uh, um, dried oregano, and a teaspoon and a half of... Uh, dried basil. We're also going to have about a half teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter cup of water just to give it a little bit more moisture. So I'm going to get the onions ready and get the spices mixed up and the uh, peppers prepped. I'm going to drain these first, take all the stems off, maybe cut them in half. I, I just don't want the peppers to be too big on the sandwich. Um, so once I pull these out and see what they look like, I might cut them up a little bit smaller. But I tried to get smaller ones, as you can see. These are not the biggest uh, uh, sizes that you can get in jars. So let me get all that ready, and I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so what I'm doing is just quartering the onions and then just slicing them. Uh, maybe a uh, quarter of an inch thick, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch thick. I don't want them too thick um, to where they're kind of um, oh, oh, over, uh, overbearing in the sandwich. I also don't want them too thin to where they just kind of shrivel up and disappear. So somewhere in between there. Uh, for the peppers, they are really pretty small, so I just cut the tops off and left them like that. Uh, a couple of the smaller ones I um, cut in half, but I noticed it just lets out all the seeds and stuff. So maybe it's better just to keep them um, by the small ones and keep them whole. So, and there's my uh, leftover juice, uh, which I'll pour in later. Alright, let me get the meat ready and put that in and get the spices mixed up. And I'll be right back for the next step. Alright, so I got a teaspoon and a half of garlic in there already. Teaspoon and a half of oregano. Uh, got your basil here. And a teaspoon of salt again. I started measuring my salt because just throwing in my pitches, pitch, pinches the way I used to, I uh, never really quite had enough. So there we go with that. Give it a good mix. Make sure it's uh, evenly coated. Then what I'll do is cut up the meat, coat up the meat, and put it. Uh, put it in the slow cooker so that'll be our next step I'll get that ready and be right back okay so what I'm gonna do is I've just cut this up into uh, four to five large pieces whatever you could do I had to work around a couple of the uh, bones that were in there so you know they're not all the same size or whatever and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little on there give it a good rub
flip it over repeat the process I'm putting about a third of the uh, spice on each level and I'm leaving um, about a third left over just to put over the top of the whole thing with the vegetables and everything all right so there we go now we're just gonna move it over to the slow cooker put in some uh, the onions peppers just so everything kind of cooks and is even uh, evenly mixed together nice well rounded balance of flavors there's the rest of the meat rest of the vegetables peppers and onions okay so it's been going for about seven and a half hours I have not touched it um, didn't have time to touch it I had to go away for a while so it's just been cooking right along um, and there we have it all right memory ran out again but all I'm gonna do is just take this out and break it up and once I'm done with all that I'm gonna put it all back in there's that bone take that out give it to the dogs I guess uh, so I'll be right back um, for the next step I'm really low on memory so there's only certain stuff I'm gonna record for this okay so what I did was just break up the meat to smaller pieces um, and left some of the smaller ones uh, as they were took out some of the big pieces of fat and stuff and I got a couple uh, sub rolls here with some uh, provolone cheese ready to go in the oven I'm just gonna toast it up so I'm gonna put those in right now get those toasted then come back and serve up the uh, uh, meat portion of the dish okay so all you need is a slotted spoon and just try to get some peppers some onions and some meat let it drain a little bit this way the the spices will kind of stay with the meat and not drain back down into the pot few more peppers on this and there you go Italian beef sandwiches served on hard roll with uh, provolone cheese I hope you enjoyed that I hope you give it a try and uh, as always thanks for watching